Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe. Dave Spencer is working the story. Dave, what happened? Yeah, Rube, a vacant house in Detroit is being used to set up delivery drivers, calling them out there only to ambush them and then rob them. However, last night things turned tragic when a 62-year-old was shot and killed. Now police want to catch whoever is responsible before this happens again. This house, 16557 Lenore Street near Six Mile and Telegraph in Detroit, has been in shambles for years. As I was growing up, that was a beautiful house. They extended the garage, we had race cars, and you know, I mean, it was a good family house, and it's just not anymore. But three times this month alone, it's been so much worse. The scene of two robberies and one murder. And we found out about the other two all right here next door in the driveway. It was just surreal. Lewis Ellis came home last night and noticed the victim. The delivery guy was laying on the ground and the truck was in the middle of the driveway. And uh, my first thought was maybe he was just, had a heart attack or something. After calling police, he acted on instinct. And I was doing CPR and doing compressions probably for three to five minutes until the paramedics got here. It wasn't until the morning that he realized the victim had been shot. Man, it doesn't happen around here. I, I don't want it to happen around here anymore. Ever. All three victims this month were pizza delivery drivers called to this same home then ambushed the man who was killed Tuesday night, 62-year-old Patrick Higgins. Just a humble, good-hearted person. You know, he was just out there trying to just get back on his feet. He was really generous. He was smart. We did Jeopardy every night together. He's done so many good things. I can't imagine. His friends say Higgins had just started delivering for Domino's a couple months back, just trying to make ends meet the right way. They also believe he wasn't killed without a fight. Pizza was thrown on the ground. I believe he did that. In his, in his own way, that was getting him back. As for the other two victims in here, both pizza delivery drivers, one of them were told worked for Hungry Howie's, the other worked for Jets. Neither of them, as far as we know, were injured during the commission of their crime, but so far, no arrests have been made. Reporting live outside the 8th Precinct in Detroit, Dave Spencer, Fox 2 News. You don't realize how dangerous this job can be, walking up to strangers' doors, not knowing what you're going to see along the way. Dave, do police have anything to go on right now? Yeah, luckily they do. In fact, they were out there canvassing the area, and they did find neighbors who have home security videos, and they were able to get that video. They're going over it right now, hoping that it will lead to some sort of uh, description that they could get out to, their, to the public. In the meantime, they're asking anyone with information to come forward. Yeah, I certainly hope they do. Dave Spencer for us live. Thank you. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.